most people. I started when I was about five or six because I had the, these images in my head, but I couldn't manifest them except in scribbles, so I just omitted until about then. And then I started working again. Um, my technical training has only started recently in the last um, four years or so. I draw inspiration from a multicultural source. I grew up in the Netherlands, um, which is in uh, Western Europe, and I got to go to all the great museums. But I found myself really drawn away from the humanist approach to artwork, and I found that other cultures, especially um, Native American cultures in Egypt, provide my greatest inspiration. I also greatly enjoy prehistoric animals, so the other half of my work, which is not being shown today, is um, prehistoric art. My biggest goal with my art is to bring light back into the world. There's a lot of very egocentric artists in this world, and I want to bring something back. I want to manifest things and concepts, so not including, um, not including true events. So my paleo art, which is um, artwork of the prehistoric past with dinosaurs and um, things like that, mammoths. But also I like to manifest ideas when it comes to the mythological. The mythological becomes highly significant to me because it's an intangible that has vibrancy when it's manifested in a visual manner. What my art means to me, it's really just a gift. It's a gift to the world. It takes a lot of hard work and a lot of focus, but to me, art in itself is meant to be a gift. It is meant to be something, it's an expression of the of nature as a whole. I'm looking to go many places with my art and it's kind of an open book for me. Um, I would love to continue making my mythological artwork, but I'd also really enjoy working for museums. Um, I'm hoping to go back into school and get do some work um, to become a paleontologist and then work as a professor and then use my, my art as a medium for communication in that way. What I'm presenting at tonight's showcase is exclusively my um, ancient mythological artwork. So I have one piece, which is a Haida culture. Um, I will not claim that I am Haida culture, but I'm greatly inspired by Native American artwork. So I have that Pacific Northwest piece. And then I have Kukulakan, who's the Mayan feathered serpent. And he's my headliner tonight, so look for him. He's certainly covered in feathers. And then my other pieces are all ancient Egyptian gods. I am really enjoying my experiences with Ra. The um, people I'm involved with and the artists I'm meeting, the artists I'm meeting are very um, warm and caring people and I'm greatly privileged to be a part of this community. My name is Shinoa Ellinghouse and I am a Ra artist. <laughs>